Okay, we are waiting for your coordinates. Negative two zero. Close up, man. Betis. I um, am a sixth grade math teacher here at Coakley Middle School and I have my sixth grade class playing pre-AP playing against another sixth grade class in a completely different wing, uh, a game of Battleship. And um, for this game um, we're teaching the kids about identifying positive and negative integers, uh, plotting coordinates on a, on a plane, uh, the four quadrants, um, and uh, good sportsmanship. And we're using uh, technology such as, right now we're using walkie-talkies, we've used speaker phones, we've used cell phones, and we're hoping to Skype really soon. And the kids are having a really great time. Um, and uh, it, it's actually been going on for a few days. And I get them started, and they totally, totally take over, and they're doing a great job. We're doing this because it's hands-on, it's so much more fun, it's much more meaningful to them, and years and years from now they're going to remember how to plot coordinates on a grid, they're going to be able to implement this in their everyday life because this was so memorable and it was so much fun. My name is Kendrick Stevenson and um, I am a student in Ms. Bettis' sixth grade pre-AP math class. It's helping us learn how to use a grid and label coordinates. Jonathan Lopez and I'm in sixth grade. Today we were doing playing Battleship well, with the Cornet grid. We were looking at this. This is R the, that we were shooting and this is when they were shooting. The dots, these dots right here, they were our ships but they already took out three so we just have two more. And then we cannot see them because they're all the way over there by the other hallway and we just have to shoot two. Okay, my name is Ronnie Gonzalez. I'm at Coakley Middle School. This is my eighth year teaching math. And today we uh, were doing a battleship. Uh, we're utilizing the concept of battleship to uh, help the students uh, graph rational values on a number line. Pretty much the reason that we are trying to concentrate a lot on activities this year is uh, students get a lot more out of it. Uh, there's things that come out of activities that teachers don't even plan on. Uh, we, we come up with an activity, we try to gear it towards what we've been um, assessing. However, sometimes you know how the activity is going to go, but then other things that you didn't even plan on come out of it. Um, they'll, they'll make their own generalizations, uh, they'll make their own assumptions, and a lot of the times it's good. It's good stuff that comes out of that. And of course, the level of retainment, they'll retain a lot more because they came up with it versus us telling them what it is that we want to do. So. Maybe, could, we, maybe we can compete against another school in another country. Three, negative three. Was that a hit? No, but I can't. Yes! 